Hello everybody and welcome to the third video in this short series on how to create charts in Excel. So we've got our chart, it's looking not too bad, just a few more things necessary to do to make sure that it really acts as a good device for communicating the data that we want to get across to the reader. Now the, the next thing here that I, that I would really like to change is this axis over here. It doesn't have a label on it to say, well, what are these? Now, we might be able to infer that they're lab marks, but I'm just going to make that really clear here, and I'm going to do that by clicking here on uh, the Layout button. Now, the Layout or the Layout tab up here at the top of the Excel form, I'm going to click that Layout tab and notice that I get a whole raft of different things that I can apply to this chart. And the thing that I'm looking for here is axis titles. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to take the primary vertical axis title, and I'm going to display, uh, display it this way. And if I click on it, I can then highlight it, and I can type in whatever I want for the name, and I'm going to say um, lab box. Now, if I don't like that font, or I think that that's not big enough, I just have to highlight it at this point, right mouse, and I'll select a different font. I'm going to select 16 points, and well, yeah, that's that's looking a little bit. You notice the rest of the, the chart resized a bit. Just pull that maybe a bit bigger. Um, it's coming right along. Now I have one other thing that I want to do. I don't like the fact that the blue here for lab one and the red are pretty close. Now they're not close in color, but if I were to print this in black and white, then these two colors would be a little difficult to distinguish. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, just click once. I'm going to pick one of these blues. I'm going to click once on them. And you'll notice I've now grabbed all of the lab one columns. If I right mouse at this point, I can come down and I can format my data series and I will go in and select a different fill here. And I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make this a gradient fill. And I'm going to make this a gradient linear fill. And I think that's looking quite a bit better. So let's close this. And now our chart is, I think, if we were to print this in black and white, I think that, that it would be easier to distinguish between the various, um, uh, the various lab marks. And just to be uh, sure about this, I'm going to just expand this one more time. And I have this at 16 point. I'm going to make this 18 point now. And then we can clearly see that the lab number one here is a, 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 graded, uh, a graded color scheme. There's actually a lot more that you could do with this chart. But I think for now, this will, this will be enough for the, for the time being. Um, I do want to let you know, though, that along with this link, when I send you this link, I'll also send a couple of links on linking or embedding a chart from Excel into Word. And the reason I'll do this is because for this assignment, you'll need to link your chart from Excel into Word. And if you don't know how to do it, I've got a couple of tips that uh, should help you out. Well, I guess that's all for me. Bye for now. See you in class.